Hey, good afternoon, it's Jeff Roper in Pocatello at the Pocatello International Jetport. This is the Made in the Shade B-25 bomber that we featured on our noon news today. It's in, it's in town for a limited time through the weekend, and they're giving out tours and flights, and you can come and celebrate our history from World War II and those that are truly our heroes. And take a look at this beautiful aircraft. It is made in 1944, it totally is functioning, and it even includes some of, well, what it's famous for, the B-25 bomber. And if you look up inside, yeah, you can see that is a general purpose bomb with some other friends that are just hanging out. Uh, up to 3,400 pounds it's capable of. We go up into the cockpit here, and uh, you'll be able to sit in the gunner seat as well. And then here's where the pilots go. The rule when you climb in is don't touch anything red. <laughs> There's also a number of, of things here. They have seats, so you can sit here and uh, just over the bomb bay. There's one gun. And of course, I was told not to touch any of the switches. So I won't, because most of them are, are labeled correctly. But as you go through the bailout alarms, and uh, the nose steering wheel, the flap indicators. There's one switch that uh, they recommended we don't mess with. It's the one up top. I'll take you into the cockpit real quick. And you can go back and watch our noon show as well and see how these planes function and where they are gonna be located here at PIH. There's the airport. And you can come and take a ride. I just got finished doing the noon news. And for those of you who have members of the greatest generation, uh, you know, you'll respect this because it's like being able to touch a part of history. Uh, my grandfather was a, a mechanic in the Air Force in World War II, and I came back in here because I forgot my glasses. <laughs> but the flight manual is right there if you need it. And of course, there's where the gunner sits, and you can do 360, 180, and the bombs lay back there, and they sometimes will crawl up over there. But This is a, a, a wonderful aircraft. It looks like a giant baked potato because it's silver. Uh, but I encourage you to go back and look at our noon news and then come on out here and take a tour, take a flight, and educate the kids and let them see how far we've come with technology because this is how we fought in one World War II in one of these B-25 bombers. So that's what it looks like coming down. And I'll climb out. I just really appreciate you guys uh, turning on Local News 8 and Channel 3 early in the morning. Caitlin, Dan, and I are on at 5 a.m. And then we do the noon news and we love taking you places maybe that you, you can't see on your own or that you haven't been before. But, I thought this was a cool view. A lot of people don't ever get to see that climbing into a World War II bomber. And, excuse me, that was the bomb bay. <laughs> you can look up in there again. Yeah. So this is, this is what it looks like from the outside. And there she is, the maid in the shade. And the number of hits she has made in the gunner in the front. It reminds me a lot of the Millennium Falcon, right? way before then though all right so i did the weather out here today i want to thank everybody at the airport and want to thank the arizona commemorative air force you can find them online at c a z c a f and uh this is how i did the weather i have my own computer out here so i'm able to be in touch with the weather talk about some of this smoke and haze and give you guys the afternoon forecast too so mid 80s closer to 90 as you head toward here in pocatello and that, that haze is going to be around and uh i'm gonna go grab my tripod and I'm going to go take a nap and see you all tomorrow morning on Local News 8 with Dan and Caitlin. And thanks to our vets, our heroes, and those that honor them by flying around the country and uh, sharing some of our history. You can find out more about them. I'll post the link on our website, and we'll see you tomorrow. I really do appreciate you watching and being with us every morning at 5 a.m. And then when you hop in the truck, turning on the radio, too, because Caitlin, Dan, and I are on 99 KUPI with the QP wake up call every morning. So have a great day. Try to stay out of the haze. And from Pocatello International Jetport, this is Jeff Roper with good news for you.